Hi, King Boomer. I cannot decide whether you look like a Civil War general or a communist dictator, but either way, I don't like it. What's up, Boomerites? What's going on? Good to see you. Uh, welcome back to the channel. We are doing a reaction to 8 out of 10 cats today. I had one pop up in my feed, but I was like, you know what? I want to do one that has uh, Sean Locke in it. Rest in peace, Sean Locke. For some you know, like, 8 out of 10 cats, I, it feels wrong when you don't do a compilation of clips when they don't have Sean Locke in it, you know? And it's, um, I hate to bring this up every time I... He's in one of these clips, but I really, because I discovered Sean like right when he passed, but um, it, it, it sucks for a number of reasons. But knowing that I'll never get to uh, even have a sliver of a chance of seeing him in person, it's, it's sad. But uh, I wanted to see some, sh see some Sean Locke compilations of uh, him on 8 out of 10 cats. So I picked this one. This one is uh, Sean Locke completely derails the show with his horn, which should be funny. The, the title grabbed me. So here I am. But uh, it's about 14 minutes long, so it'll probably have tons of other stuff with Sean Locke, um, which is a good thing. So the more Sean Locke, the better. Um, hope you guys agree. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's watch Sean Locke on this uh, 8 out of 10 Cats compilation. Here we go. Your hair does look very nice tonight. Thank you very much. Well, it's compliments to the chefs, the makeup ladies. Right. They've been at it for about two hours. <laughs> uh, lovely care. What can I say? And how do you feel that wardrobe ladies have performed? You absolute monster. <laughs> <laughs> It's an interesting contrast to that the hair and the outfit don't really okay, match up. I got here quite late and <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a nice stuff. I've got like a dress and a dressy top, but it wasn't ironed because I didn't get it out. And so I mean I sort of look like it's a nice jumper. It just it looks a bit like I ran out of budget there. <laughs> and then just carried on. What was our comment like, before the show? It was you said from neck up it was It looks like I've said, Can I have Beyonce hair? And then Sean, it wasn't my comment, Sean said and said benefit straight bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie is the face of Giacomo, you know, Giacomo, the online clothing store for men who don't care what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> I see you sold Sean a shirt. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, in a film where, like, uh, a woman gets off with a man and she's around his house, she goes, she just puts his shirt on. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm <laughs> skipping around. How would like... that spring to mind? <laughs> He's got no trousers on underneath. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've got a little pair of knickers on. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you're not wearing any knickers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is big, though, isn't it? I think it's the lime green more than the size, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's like high viz. Oh. <laughs> I made a catastrophic error, but hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's the nice final fun. damning indictment <laughs> of that show. <trip. laughs> That's. It mentioned, like, they don't care what you look like. You guys know that I don't care what I look like on this thing. Most of the time you see me now, especially the last three months, uh, it's basically, like, what I wore to the gym. You know, I had somebody say, like, hey, you wear the same crappy T-shirts all the time. Yeah, it's because I just came out of the gym. But uh, in terms of Sean, pointing out Sean Locke shirt, um, I guess we would call that a flannel here, or at least in the flannel style. But I'd never seen one in a color scheme like that before. That one's interesting. I don't usually rock those kind of shirts, but that green one, it really stands out. I, I, I liked it. If you could change one thing about yourself, what, what would it be? Well, obviously the front. It's going to be a huge, huge benefit. I'll tell you what I really would like, though. If I had one leg, like... Just, just from here, from here to here, by the leg, that was like a goose's foot. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the rest of it's normal, but just from there to there, yeah. is like a goose's webbed foot. Mm. So if I'm ever have to hide behind a curtain... <laughs> yeah, and there's like, I just stick my goose's foot out, and someone goes, Oh, no, Sean's not hiding there. <laughs> 
There's a goose there. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's why I I love him because he the, only he would think of something like that. Thinking ahead, always thinking yeah. ahead. <laughs> Sean, what's the biggest compliment you've ever been given? Oh, uh, well, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> I think probably the one that filled me with pride and made me feel I had to put a spring in my step all day was uh, one time I, I bent over in the street to tie up my shoelaces and someone mistook me for Uma Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that was a wonderful feeling. <laughs> I got me Teddy. Oh. Oh. What's what's he called? Fred. He's called Fred. <laughs> he just that. He just yeah. that. I've had it since I was too short. You didn't have a name for it. It's, I can see it on your face. You went. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I could come up with, Fred. Is it squeak? Is it battery? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. She occasionally misses out important bits of grammar. <laughs> but she wants to say, is there a battery inside it? Oh, she no. just goes, is there a battery? <laughs> we used to skate together. <laughs> Competitively. He's quite hard to carry, though. I found that... <laughs> oh, it did me back in. He threw me around like a rag doll, oh, didn't he? <laughs> it was the bit of it you liked, though, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we, they and skirt. I love that skirt. <laughs> <laughs> then we moved into bobsleigh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a bit claustrophobic, though. I found that, because I was at the back, I found that a bit... Ooh. Yeah, imagine what it's like for me in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're not scoring any points or getting any of the numbers right or any of the words doesn't mean you're not doing a brilliant job. Sorry. <laughs> if, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? I'll tell you what, I'd like to be really good at Countdown. <laughs> you know, it's something mild, something very light, something that I couldn't abuse. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with the, the responsibility of something really serious, like I can, you know, fly, and then that just spoils it for everyone else. You have else. to get your phone if you can fly. You can't ignore a phone call. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you can fly. It's obviously, you know, we're like, oh, someone's falling off a building. You can't be like, oh, I was, oh I'm not going to get that. I'm in the middle of the telly. <laughs> yeah. If someone's falling off a building, they don't have time to phone <laughs> you up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what an image that is. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even they wouldn't even finish dialing the numbers before they hit the ground unless it was like one of the tallest buildings in the world on a typical Sean Locke holiday yeah what, what do you do on holiday well I mean there's no such thing as a typical Sean Locke holiday because no two Sean Locke holidays are the same mostly because I can't ever go back anywhere <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do like uh, a bit of camping, and last year I had a good time. I went on a flu camp. <laughs> and the whole family got given the flu. <laughs> and you get paid as well. And you don't, you don't, you're just lying there shivering. You have to look after your kids, so <laughs> shivering on another ward. <laughs> this year we're booked into crabs camp. <laughs> just me and the wife are going, obviously. You know about flu camp, don't you? People go and get the flu and they, you, they pay you two grand and you get the flu for ten days. Do you definitely get better? You, Always. Well, no, I mean, you don't go if you're 80. <laughs> <laughs> well, go if you're 80, you know, cheaper than going to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> I actually understood that reference, yeah. Assisted suicide, oh my God. <laughs> Sean, if you were invisible for the day, what would you do? If I was invisible for the day? Yeah. Uh, can I push people downstairs and things like that? <laughs> <laughs> I use my physical force as an invisible person to... Yes. ...attack. Yes. Right. Um, I... Well, what I'd do is I'd get drunk and ruin Wimbledon. Lift the net up, <laughs> sit on the Queen's lap, <laughs> breathe in her ear. <laughs> Roisin, I think you may have it. Three plus three is six. It's six. Times 75. You've only done it. Got it! <laughs> it's a bit like trapping a bedwetter <laughs> after their first dry night. <laughs> <laughs> the bedwetter goes, I didn't wear the bed last night. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're but on your own here because I'm just cuddling a cat now. Oh. <laughs> Sarah Milliken has a cat. Well. Unless it was clinging to my balls. <laughs> I've drawn a scary dog. Oh, roof, <laughs> roof, roof. That is scary. Sean, hold that up. I mean, even for a quick sketch. <laughs> You're oh. a killer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you could be an expert at anything, what would it be? Um, I'd like to be an expert on homeopathy, actually. <laughs> like, I'm really the, the, the world's leading authority on homeopathy, because then I could tell people definitively that it's a load of bollocks. <laughs> It's a load of absolute bollocks. <laughs> I've researched it, I've found out, you know. I know for sure that it doesn't work. And we all know that, really, don't we? I mean, if I'm in an accident, I want to hear sirens, not wind chimes. <laughs> <laughs> that, could, that sounds kind of similar to uh, Carl Pilkington's uh, bullshit man a little bit, does it? And another cotton. What, what the hell was that? Fly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it was actually a fly. Caught... What did you kill it? You have to kill it. Oh, it actually was. You don't have to kill it. Why not? Well, you just <laughs> mesmerise it and put it out the back. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it could have seen what, what. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, well, I remembered. I was hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's protein, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I've completely forgotten what's happening. Seven. Uh, one from the top and three more from the bottom. <laughs> uh, whichever one you choose and take it with a number you first thought of. Thank you. Is there a need to, for prevention of cruelty to flies? Uh, yeah, I get attacked is. in the street by people saying, it's disgraceful what you did to that fly. Yeah. yeah no, because will. I think they'll know that it was a fake fly, that we, we just got in for that bit that was... Obviously, you wouldn't put a real fly in your mouth because it would be unhygienic it and would. slightly mental, so... <laughs> Why would it be unhygienic? Because they stand on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's had a shit in this studio? <laughs> <laughs> Good Good retort. Retort. <laughs> I'm not walking oh, all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> what did it taste like? Tasted a bit like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> no, it did, definitely didn't. Uh, six times eight. You've already used the six. <laughs> Have I? Oh no! What I meant to do was. Um... <laughs> I think we can agree the regular version of Countdown has a higher standard. <laughs> hey, what is Jimmy wearing? Twenty-five <laughs> minus that. Three times twenty-five, seventy-five. Oh, what left with? Five two five. <laughs> And you've got and a you two do, and an eight. And two times eight is sixteen. Two times eight. On. Sixteen. Is that, is that it? Is that That's it? Not That's five one. One. Yeah. Wow. What were you going for? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> 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 Funny, isn't it? How amazing I just how I did it like that. <laughs> I didn't see that way, so I'm impressed. Neither did Sean, so I wouldn't feel bad about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, that was at the Pickpocket Awards. Ooh. Yeah, shoplifter of the year. <laughs> Shoplifter of the year. <laughs> Wait. Pocket awards. Ooh. Shoplifter of the year. <laughs> I didn't win it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean. Your personal best. Pickpocket. One more time. <laughs> Shoplifter of the year. No. <laughs> I didn't win it. <laughs> uh, I'm such a muppet sometimes. I'd, I'd, even on the second time around, I didn't quite get it. And then I was like, oh, you idiot. You idiot. Use your head, boomer. <laughs> This has got to be your personal best, because you've got two incredible words. Mm. I think it's because I'm up against someone as useless as you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> 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 What's in that sandwich? Of course, it's Johnny Vegas eating it. Yes, that's a good day. That's a good day. That's a good day. Oh, that's oh. oh no, Johnny.
Johnny. We haven't quite finished oh, yet, oh, have we? <laughs> Just a little bit to go. <laughs> Look, I won't practice the piano better next time. <laughs> Look, I'll help. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so nice. Don't you feel good now? <laughs> Father, why must we clean everything up before Mother comes home? <laughs> Do you want a wet one, Johnny? Oh, yeah, just the one. Not either. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, he does not want one of those. It's a spoon. <laughs> no, wait, wait, when I finished it, Father. <laughs> no, I will hose you down as normal. <laughs> as Johnny, normal. Did you, uh, what did you get? <clears throat> Seven. No, it's diabetes seven. he got. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I didn't realize it was going to be that big. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. <laughs> That's got to be like 12 feet long, dude. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's a 12 foot long horn. <laughs> well, I think we can all agree. <laughs> out all the other mics because it's so loud. <laughs> 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 Phil, Jessica, choose the letters. I have a continent, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> continent. <laughs> Jessica, pick a letter. You choose one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Madness. His face is turning red. Right. Nice when you find something you're good at. Phil, <laughs> <laughs> oh. do you have any other extendable wind instruments? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got three letters picked out so far. Good stuff. Good stuff. Sean Locke, you will be missed. That thing was fucking huge. I didn't realize the horn was going to be that big. Oh, man. That... <laughs> not as useless as you, comment. That was... That one was harsh. Funny, but harsh. Uh, but yeah, I... You know... I wanted to do an 8 out of 10 cats reaction, and... It just... It just doesn't feel right when... The, uh the highlighted person in the video is uh, not Sean Locke. I think that would be a travesty. He makes that show for me. But, you know. Is 8 out of 10 cats still, still on TV? I would imagine it is. Because, I mean, dude, all you... I mean, w when I pull up... Uh, Eight out of ten cats compilations here on YouTube. The the view counts are massive, massive. So I would imagine it's like one of the most popular uh, shows on UK television, and rightfully so. It just looks like a hoot. It looks like a lot of fun for everybody. So <laughs> I'm looking at like all the recommendations now on the right hand side here. Are all eight out of ten cat stuff, and it's just the view counts are insane. So. Yet another show that I wish we had over here. Um, we'd probably mess it up somehow, though. You know. But, anyway. Rest in peace, Sean Locke. That, it was good seeing him again. And I hope you enjoy the reaction. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And I'll see you again soon, Boomerites. Have a great day today.